Um, we are about to get into another dumpster dive. Um, really don't know what we're going to find until we get there. So if you want to know what we find, come watch it with us. What up, folks? So, here in two and a half hours, we are supposed to have some extreme bad weather. Extreme bad weather. Extreme bad weather. Damaging winds. Damaging winds. Tornadoes. Hail. The huge. Um. And Babe was kind of freaking and was like, I really want to go out, but I don't want to go out because we're going to hit bad weather and I don't want to be caught in it. Well, me. I said, it's okay, babe. We still got two hours. We can just do a quick run through of all of our video or all of our stops. And then me and babe were sitting here thinking in two hours, we're going to have some really freaking death, deathly weather. And here we are dumpster diving. So y'all, I love my people. Damien says, what up? I gotta bring the angels some good content. What up, Bo? So, that's what we're doing. And let's hope and pray that we don't get caught up in the bad weather. If we do, we'll pull over to a store and we'll just ride it out to the rain stop. Y'all be having videos of us in, like, Walmart or something, chilling until yep. 5 a.m. in the morning. And as you know, I'm eating. Just like in every video, I'm always eating. Excuse her food. So excuse my food. I do talk with my mouth full. And that's okay. Excuse my mom's <laughs> But anyway, yeah. figured I'd do a quick little hey, we're on the road, we're going. Hey. Um so enjoy. Stay tuned. And hopefully we have something good. But I'm saying that now before we even stop anywhere. So you'll see this first, and then you'll see if we get something good. So I guess we'll both see at the same time. Yes, y'all will see if we get rained on. We're gonna record everything, even if we get caught up in bad weather, even if we barely make it home and the extreme bad weather starts. We'll even do an extra video adding the bad weather. Like this is gonna be fun, you guys. So. Stay tuned, and we will be back with um, some dumpster diving. Hey guys, so as you can see, excuse the mattress, someone dumped their mattress. Um, but as you can see, it's starting to like really pour, <laughs> and we told you that we would um, record when it started getting bad. Well, we were out there, and I was like, hey, cool, they ended up putting the two mattresses down. Um, I'll use that as a stool. Well, I opened it up and I'm not going to tell you, you can just see in the video. But I got some stuff out. We were at PetSmart and I got some stuff out. But unfortunately, unfortunately Babe was trying to hold the box so I could lift one of the items that we got out. And a giant roach about that big <laughs> crawled up her arm and went in her shirt to her neck. And she had to like fling it off and she was like tripping hella. And then it's I don't like find a roach until it climbs my body. <laughs> it tries to go in my garments. In her garments. And um yeah, and we were talking about it, standing by the trunk talking about it, and it just started pouring. So it was supposed the bad weather was supposed to start at twelve and it's ten fifteen our time right now, which when you watch this it'll probably be like right now, uh, right now it's Tuesday. It'll be 10 p.m. So you're going to be watching this tomorrow. Well, today, if you get what I'm saying. And yeah, but this is now and it's still coming down. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But it's still coming. Um, yeah. So I guess we're just going to... It's starting to die down a little bit. So I guess we're going to go check another spot. I'm going to go check go all of our Dollar Trolls and something else. And I Babe doesn't like bad weather. I don't do good in bad weather because one, I grew up in Louisiana with all the bad, 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 bad hurricanes. 
And where I'm from? I rode every last one of them out. And where I'm from? In pretty bad houses where it could have fell down on us at any minute. And then uh, I watched my grandma get struck by lightning while pulling clothes off of a, a metal rod. It started pouring down raining, so she went to go get her clothes in. And when she reached up to grab it, lightning struck, and I watched her get electrocuted. Yep. So I kind of don't like bad weather anymore. And where I'm from, uh, Oregon, we get a lot of rain, but we don't get like bad weather like we have here. And if we have like a windstorm, that's all it is, is it's just a windstorm. We don't have like tornadoes that come along with it or anything like that. Like when, okay, this isn't a, this is for another video, but anyway, we don't get bad weather. Um, and so we're just going to go hit up another, a couple more places since it stopped raining. And I guess we will holla back at ya. Alright guys, we are at Tractor Supply. Babe jumped in. She's going to try to move this pallet in here. All underneath it is humongous bags of animal food. She's going to see what she can do for us. But we're trying to hurry because we are getting close to the wire here. Sorry guys, I'm a little fuzzy. Sorry for all the little buggies flying in front of the camera. The bugs. <laughs> yeah, this time not roaches, praise Jesus. Or orbs. <laughs> well it might be, you never know. My nieces could be hanging. I like to think of them as my guardian angels. If you toss it this way, I'll try to grab it and pull it. Are you good? Is mm -hmm. it caught on your leg? My muscles. Oh, Christina will be happy. Oh, happy day. Throw whatever you can out the thing over there. Yes, guys, all of our animal food we find, we donate to people. Wait, it's worth at the top. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. There you go. You got this, beautiful. She getting her workout. If you can, try to stand it up. If you can't, I completely understand. It's heavy. That one's ripped on the side, so do what you can with it. Christina won't have to buy bird food for, like, years after we're done hooking this girl up. You gonna save that one for last? Okay, that's fine. The tear might be on the bottom, so just be careful. You got it? You okay? This is gonna be a massive tractor supply haul. After this, I think we're just gonna check um, one more place and we're going home. Just breathe, baby. You got it. Is it pouring out? Score one for the baby. What's that one? More bird food? Roof or food. Oh. Why'd you throw it? We don't need a roof or food. Daddy might be able to uh feed something with that. Okay. Like deer or something. We'll save that for last. We need horse food. Somebody might grab it. We can sell it. If not, we'll donate it. I don't know. You, your guess is as good as mine. Oh. Alright guys, give me a moment. Exactly. Be alert. With the possibility of rough weather coming your way here as we move into the morning hours. We're going to stay with this too. And again, National Weather Service has posted this warning just moments ago. 
and we'll continue to watch that. Central West Felicia Parish, Central Point to Pete Parish as well, 1153. A severe thunderstorm that was capable of producing a tornado is then located over Bachelor, about eight miles northeast of Bayou Curry. It's moving east of 45. This has the potential of bringing in golf ball size hail. The radar has indicated rotation, again, verifying that from the National Weather Service of New Orleans. The impact of this off the cliff can be flying debris, uh, dangerous uh, to those uh, caught without shelter. Uh, mobile homes could possibly be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles could occur. Tree damage also likely. This is a dangerous storm. Again, St. Francisville and Wakefield. This is going to be on you right around 12, 15 a.m. Uh, the tornado warning actually right now replaces the severe thunderstorm uh, warning that was issued for that area. So once again, if you're joining us, National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued a tornado warning. Central West Feliciana Parish in uh, southeast uh, and Central Point Capete uh, Parish as well. Until what it do, my peoples? So, first I want to start this video off by saying... I, apparently, we are sucking at our editing and our videotaping. I don't know. If my videos are giving you motion sickness, I apologize. Um, I, I mean, I'm working off of a piece of crap Blue Studio uh, Straight Talk phone. It's nothing fancy. And I'm editing and doing everything off of it. So, I think I'm doing pretty good. And if it bothers you, I really do apologize. Um, you can either buy me a camera and whatever, or just give me a minute to save up, like I said, to do it. But I think for what we're working with, we're doing a pretty good job. Um, anyways, last night we had a massive tractor supply haul. We found horse food, which is around 50 pounds. We found this big, ginormous bag of baby chick food. The only thing that's wrong with them is they have slits. But, I mean, I'm going to take these up and donate them to my friends. Uh, this bag and this bag and that bag is both classic wild bird food mix. I'm going to give two of them to my friend, um, Christina. She has a lot, a lot of birds, and this will help her out a lot. I'm going to give the horse feed to either somebody who has a horse or anybody that likes the deer hunt because apparently the deer like that a lot um i'm gonna give this to one of my other friends she's um hatches baby chickens and does yard eggs so i'm gonna give those to her this is a another 50 pound bag they had another one in there but it was too badly slit there was no way to get it out without it all falling apart. Um, we also have these, like I said, as the classic wild bird food. And it is another 50-pound bag and another 50-pound bag and another 50-pound bag. And like I said, just little slight rips, accidental rips, you know, from this was probably from a pallet. This happens to me in all of my jobs. I go through a pallet, you know, ripped it. Or right here, they tried to pick it up and bust at the seam. You know, same thing right here. So, and then we got this Blue Wilderness Natural Evolution Diet from PetSmart. And we got this. And y'all remember me showing you it's um, Wholesome Essentials neutral large breed puppy food uh y'all remember the video i showed y'all the other day of where i about like busting in tears because they had the dumpster filled from the bottom until about four to five feet high above the ground filled with dog food bags and i got excited at first thinking i was going to be able to donate to a lot of shelters and to all of my friends who need dog food and every time we went to go pick them up, they had a slit in the top right here. So we were like, okay, well, we can at least pick it up. Just keep it from laying right there. And we can take that slit and give them to people. And the second we go to pick it up, it would start pouring 
out of the back right here because they slit the bottom too just to make us feel like we were going to be able to uh, get the dog food and then it was kind of like a psych but it was literally about 50 of these 50 to 100 of these bags I couldn't even tell you how many was in there to be honest there were so many but it was these exact bags right here and I was so excited. Like, I thought that I was going to be able to donate, 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 donate. And no, I didn't. And then we had also found... I don't know where it is right now to put it in a video. Oh, wait. Hang on. Give me one sec. Alright, guys. So, here's the squirrel corn I was telling you about we found. It's an entire pack. And it's for squirrels, rabbits, and chipmunks. And then we found this bag of cat food. Yeah, cat food, honey, salmon. So that was our monster and massive pet haul we had going on. And of course, we had a couple of other things like we had found in our bucket. Let's see. Found this at Dollar Tree. It's a little charger. And then we found. We found this glue gun. So that's pretty cool. But the main thing that we found was all of this. And I think that was a massive, humongous haul. If I do say so myself. Alright guys. If you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we love you guys. You guys are the best. Love you. Love she said, love you. And the son's in his room cleaning his room. We love you guys. You guys are the best. You're awesome. You're amazing. I hope y'all had an amazing and wonderful day. Uh, what? Yeah, whatever. He said smash that like button. You heard what he said. Now do it. You do what he said. Anyways, we love you guys. That's right. You guys are the best. And as always, you guys, show this family some love. Yep.